to stay here. Is, are, are they banning theory? Well, I mean, one of your theory is always an option for Arjun. Wait, Arjun, what theory? I mean, it depends on what you say. <laughs> the best part is that Victor can't even be like, mentor, help me, because his mentor is better than the video. Can you help me? No, I have answers. Sure. <laughs> Remember, you do have the one NC speech talk that, uh... Yeah, you can kill some. Yeah, security takes you. True. I don't want to get away from that. No way. <laughs> we could also do, like... Can I have a Oh, I guess so. You know, uh, you know how in, like, uh, like, those, like, quiz shows, they have, like, Ooh, ask no. a friend? No! Ask a friend! Yeah, you, you mean phone like, a friend? Oh, yeah, phone a friend. Like, you can phone a friend. Ask the audience. Or, 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 or the audience. You can... You could have an angel. This is actually something that they do. Like Victor, you should not phone me because I will. Oh, really? Oh, really? Because it's phone a friend. Wait, how about, how about Victor has. That's a cool Don't say that. Don't say the last one. So. Like, 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 so. Like, 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 like,
Jonas would just forget everything. Jonas would need everything. Yeah. 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 Y
The potential for getting content growing involves so I can make a barbecue crucible so become self radicalized in the absence of an economic outlet. Withdrawing from police station, new security arrangements, and new nuclear ambitions. Conflict could lead to unintended escalation and broader conflict. The close by of nuclear rivals will reduce the potential for warning missile flight time. The main place focus on preemption, leading to escalating crisis. Conflict could overdue resources to emerge. emerge. Protection of the government's perception could result in interstate conflicts. So, with cooperation managed resources, is likely to be increasingly difficult. Scenario two is radical. If ISIS causes a nuclear terror plane, 926. These Islamic states have the means to obtain only with either. They have an appetite for indiscriminate killing and have obtained a head of seas with nuclear materials are requiring dirty bombs to attach a radical holes in nuclear weapons. Since weapons and materials could fall into your hands and terrorism causes extinction, which defense mechanisms do, mechanisms do not check and nuclear response is automated. Barrett, 13. War involving U.S. and Russian obstacles could have to catch off effects leading to extinction of humanity. It command and control detect first attack and counter blast and counter attack before suffering damage from the first inadvertent war possessed of substantial risk while the use of Russia made ready to launch terrorist groups may cause attacks that result in nuclear attack by other nations. The Al-Qaeda and Saudi weapons, third party researchers think the nation is more likely to misinterpret events as attacks and nuclear attacks will cause extinction independent of retaliation to in 2007. Nuclear explosives can cause uh, can produce urban, urban casualties exceeding one, uh, one million. Even a localized nuclear catastrophe could have severe economic consequences. Attack and giant casualties comparable to a full-scale nuclear counter change quantity smoke to lead to climate generations. And scenario three is mass violence. ISIS kills a lot of people. Obadiah and Rotin. ISIS has killed fellow Muslims who are trapped in beheadings, killings of women, executing clerics for refusing to swear allegiance. 9,000 uh, civilians have been killed. ISIS identified as a primary actor. The common threat is to do with the absolute power. Your choice is to submit to ISIS or die. Solvency. U.S. military action against ISIS has expanded now and is successfully undermining ISIS. Bender 7 9. The U.S. intensified just air war and strikes public in Iraq. The coalition destroyed fighting positions in Aleppo and Syria. The YPG has even weighed ISIS territory. The coalition is committed to dismantling military capacity. We're going after ISIS leadership and the infrastructure that pumps funds and propagandas. But military action alone is insufficient. ISIS is invulnerable, absent social engagement that can delegitimize radical ideology. Engaging civil society initiatives, initiatives is key. Pandit in 15. ISIS is just one piece of a larger, more devastating adversary to defeat ISIS without extirpating extremist ideology, and you'll be asking what to do about the next group. The bad guys have created a restarting ideology built on the built, built on belonging the internet, which pits a monolithic Muslim us against non-Muslim them, and some Muslim like millennials see part large numbers are tracking the ISIS can't have an army for the last recruits. US policy is to contest the extremism of the image of Islam. We must study the digital narratives, create gas suits programs, and provide seed by making a while scaling up programs, including generation change, teen hotlines, mental health resources, countering violence, extremism, youth plowing, educational partnerships, and partnership with local, local, local organization, tackle extremist ideology, make possible a durable solution, and thus the plan. The United States ought to support us as nonviolent, uh, pluralistic civil society movements in the Middle East and diplomatically engage Middle Eastern governments in order to promote democracy in the Middle East. I'll clarify, leg on in 14. To buy mainstream proxy to support indigenous civil society movements, like compared to nonviolent movements, should be the touchstone of U.S. foreign policy. We have the responsibility to accompany civil society actors who want to bring about change. Democracy is not just about elections, it's about to pluralism, and speak minority voices. This is important for the U.S. to help civil society groups help themselves. Uh, if a group wants to help their community to pluralism, we should give them help. And bottom line, engagement is key. Ensure movements remain long term, even without national support. Ignatius 625. The key skill for extremists is to gender popular support. If, if they can recruit new militants and radicalize people, we will be continuous anti strategy combat ISIS must be around supporting civilians. They will keep violent extremists and FAA national security falter. There will, still be, there will still be security local movements that enables a lot of movements to operate. We need to undermine support for radicalization, tracing the social capacity, cohesion, promote uh, counter to undermine the and engaging Sunni tribes in terms of radical, long term, uh, in terms of long term security that can defeat ISIS and prevent future radicalism. The loss in 14. Bring Sunni tribes away from the Islamic state is critical to security. The evidence is a cornerstone of the strategy to combat, to combat the jihadist threats away from the prize and cost reach all weapons as the uprising succeeded. The Sunni tribes were abandoned, uh, which renewed Al Qaeda attacks. Sunnis are split over the support for the Islamic state, preventing just like the Sufis community allies. The Pentagon has been actively considering uh, engaging Sunni tribes against the Islamic state. If the U.S. supposed to support you, they'll rise up and you'll see ISIS gone in a few months. I marked that last part at months. Um, define like your implementation, or how are you going to, right, like, yeah. how are you going to, uh, so the plan is, uh, bottom up, sort of, uh, civil society type engagement with, uh, local groups in the So, like, what are, what is the U.S. going to do? Uh, the U.S. does things like fund, uh, civil society groups, creates contacts with, uh, those groups, uh, and pressures local governments to, uh, increase, uh, support for, like, free speech. Um, explain how you're going to pressure local governments. Uh, so, the Lagan evidence says that part of the U.S.'s strategy is, uh, because, uh, you know, the U.S. is probably a very powerful nation, it's capable of, uh, it has a lot of influence in the international realm, so the U.S. can convince other governments without coercion to do things that are good, like protect free speech. How? Do, like, diplomacy. So, convince, like, you know, sure. speak, like, basic face talks between U.S. leaders um, and foreign sure. leaders. Sure, define funding. Like, how are we going to fund it? Like give them money. Just <laughs> just give them money, and what are they gonna do? Uh, so we give them money uh, for intended to use that use for specific goals, uh, including so like civil society actors that are uh, non-violent and against uh, that are pro-democracy and against uh, ISIS's ideology. 
So you fund the, the pen meter sure. fund those. What's groups. the last one? The last what do you mean last one? Or, la or the other one that I didn't ask you about. Uh, the implementation thing. Implementation efforts for like the last like you say three. Oh, uh, well, the, the plan text is support nonviolent pluralistic movements and diplomatically engage. Like, those are, those are the two things that support nonviolent Like, support as in uh, both provide, like, you know, a declaration of our support for and also provide funding uh, for. So, like, those are the things the effort do. Declaration of what? Like, de declare our support for. So, like, the U.S. can make statements that are like, we believe that this group is, like, this uh, Sunni Awakening group is uh, a group that should be supported. Uh, you know, creating and then uh, funding them and funding people who support them. Okay, well, how, what's support going to do? Like, do you... Yeah, so uh, the solvency evidence in the app says that uh, ISIS cannot be stopped unless we uh, diplomat, unless we undermine their ideology. They have a lot of their ability to uh, be successful, even though there's a lot of foreign militaries attacking them, is because they can convert a lot of people to their ideology. So uh, converting people away from their ideology and convincing them that you know ISIS is like ISIS ideology is bad and pluralism is good is uh, the way to challenge ISIS by preventing ISIS recruitment. Great. Um.
I want to sit.
in the box and push cause remedial effects on a certain entity that is to appear 10 years after the fall of the Taliban Afghanistan and Afghanistan can hardly be considered a stable economy, a d democracy. Little suggests that uprising have shaken the ladder, the opposite is true. But the organization left on a border for opposition goes to Iran and uh, opposition explicitly distance fell from the West to prevent the loss of credibility and legitimacy. So, um, we can. So, so yeah, uh, this is this is not this is the same thing with um, uh, uh, with, with ISIS that you can't like you can't, you can't just uh, assert yourself in there because um they, like uh, this have this have um been like in past examples where they rejected uh, our help from the U.S. because of uh, the U.S. and change ideology and also we can't convert them away from ideology because lack clarity over what constitutes democracy means democracy promotion fails cycle thirteen democracy is consistent with content and difficult to measure you can ask democracy motions based on a Western liberal democratic model which is difficult to apply anywhere in the world including the West itself or really experience uh, democratization in home and countries that does have little China and American views, uh, American democracy with the concept of democracy itself, democracy promoters, rush to election, and uh, election can have a winner take all scenario. And next, structural, lines for, uh, structural factors uh, prevent rural uh, Eastern uh, democracy, Gold Smith 08. Democracy motion reject the idea that Muslim Lord are not really adverse to democracy and rule of law and diamond attributes to the regional uh, democracy gap to leadership and lack of uh, opportunity for participation uh, by ordinary people and not and retrograde uh, values or beliefs. So, what is he saying that uh, like um, there, there's no way that we get enacted because um, uh, the, uh, yeah so the two parts are saying that um, because we're trying to enact like uh, just one single to perform democracy motion we can't enact it because uh, we can't enact it because um it, 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 within that form there uh, within ISIS there's multiple cultures so we won't be able to uh, change it to fit every culture so we won't be able to uh, change the hearts and minds of people because um there's like because we there's like we can't change democracy motion so that they will actually accept it so they will just reject it and also um. Let's get the next part. Um, in appreciation of the, uh, the unconditional aid increased chance for regimes to be re-elected through swap. Residents use foreign aid to expand hard expansion before the election and if it is provided unconditionally to the government um, uh, receives the opportunity to pursue fiscal strategies that have access to a chance for re-election and next, no solvency. A will be uh, will be controlled and used to produce war. Leave rich. Oh, for well intentioned aid may only be marginal and successful in reaching uh, for a, a portion of the civilian, civilian population worth of the time they will be controlled by local governments who use wars to reduce the suffering that have released of uh, intended to uh, alleviate the combatants have final resources from the innocent war machines. Um, so, the, so, <clears throat> so not only will that aid that will be going and will like turn the entire case because it will outweigh the, uh, the, uh, the, the impact because like that will get just the aid will just uh, allow, allow like ISIS to become stronger so that they can be um, like stronger like uh, stronger like global so that, um, so that will magnify all the impacts to extend that and also uh, the, the imperial condition aid increases chance for regime to be like, reelected. This means that uh, we're not gonna like hurt her ISIS at all because there will just be a cycle of uh, uh, reelected regime that will like continue will, will allow ISIS to continue. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, status of the alt. Um. Ooh. <laughs> um. If I say dispositional, are you gonna run stuff on me? Are you gonna theory? Uh, me? maybe. Oh man. <laughs> make make a decision. I don't know. Okay. Um. Um. Uh, maybe you can get back to me on that one. I'll, I'll, I'll ask you at the end of the process. Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay. What does the alt do? It says to withdraw from capitalism. What does that mean? So Rodolfo says that we need to withdraw on like an everyday basis and everyday people. Like, like, so how, in so order if to I wanted to withdraw from capitalism right now, what would I do? What would you do? Yeah. Um, it would just like not like stop supporting things like waste labor or things like um, that are just like... So how do, I, how do I... How, why am I supporting that right now? Mm -hmm. So how do individual people support things like waste slavery now? It's not for, it's not particularly the wage labor. I'm saying like you need to start okay. uh, just stop supporting things that are capitalist. So so like what things are capitalist? What does that mean? How do you stop supporting those things? Um, you just like stop like thinking about the cap like stop thinking in a capitalist mindset. So stop thinking in a capitalist mindset. Now capitalism is gone. So if I'm no. like an ardent communist, does that mean like how does that get rid of capitalism? Wait, wait, what? So like if I like suddenly start you know like feverishly believing in communism. Uh, like Karl Marx is now my hero. I mean, I've rejected capitalism completely in my mind. How uh, like how does that solve capitalism? It solves capitalism when um the shift occurs on every day like uh, like okay, like everyone in a population so that like there is actually a shift. What shift? From ants from capitalism to anti capitalism. What is anti capitalism? Just the opposite of capitalism. What is that? Describe <laughs> what does that system look like? Like, like is, it not my... is it is it communism? Um not necessarily. What we need to do is not, yeah, What we need to do is that Harada Four says that we need a or like after like complete re after the complete rejection, we need to because like we can't think of a government policy or like the solution right now because we already are engaged in capitalist mindset. Harada Four says that we need to disengage from it in order to actually come up with like oh, come up with what we need to do. So it does not actually provide a solution to capitalism. It just says that we need to come. Oh up with no! It. Like. 
complete rejection will like get rid of capitalism. You just said that we don't have a solution to capitalism yet. Is, Wait. That, is that not true, or is there one? There is one. What and is it? It's complete rejection. Or yeah, it's complete rejection. Other than rejection, what does the alt do? What does the alt do? Yeah. Other than rejecting capitalism, what does it create besides? It creates getting... a capitalist, uh, anti-capitalist mindset that we could actually rebuild our society from from the bottom up. Uh, your Robinson evidence says that. Uh, like democracy promotion is a cover for uh, extracting Middle Eastern oil. Uh, why does the why is that cover important? Given that the U.S. would extract Middle Eastern oil regardless. Okay, sure. So the Robinson, Robinson evidence doesn't actually say that. It says that we need to uh, no. It says that U.S. is promoting democracy in order to establish the Middle East as like a reliable, like a stable, like country or like a state, like make them into a stable state so that we could. Uh, get their oil. So like, so they can actually be reliable. Cool. So like, they won't be harmed. I'm gonna ask now. Status and counterplan. So oh um 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 ah ah uh, dispositional. All right. Guess <laughs> <laughs> what it is. Uh, sorry, correct. Not gonna run. Here we go. I won't. Too few to be. They have a popular vote that you have to go for this one now. Uh, 130 left. I'll uh, email it to you. It's titled Speech from an Arabic Word. AC Captain. Saves in text for some reason <laughs> oh, until I add dot dot x at the bottom. It's cool. Oh <laughs> this is scary. All right, I sent to you guys. Oh. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> okay. Free 
morning issues, the Boston Rapid, it's moral uncertainty means that we don't know if, we don't know what morality is, which means we should keep ourselves alive and decide what the right morality is in the future, which means that existential risks are free uh, should be a filter for all impact, prioritize it over every other scenario now. Uh, only the African solve extinction, they've considered three independent scenarios for extinction, first is oil shocks, ISIS will take over oil fields, which disrupts global oil supplies, but the biggest and least is key that causes the US to intervene, uh, and other countries to retaliate with nuclear weapons, that was a king, clear, and custom evidence, the second one is the, uh, uh, and uh, also collapse of the economy, which causes nations, uh, which causes, uh, disrupts the global economy, and uh, causes nations to lash out against each other, the second is nuclear terrorists on the plane, uh, and Barrett Evans says that ISIS will use nuclear terrorist attacks on the uh, on the U.S. and Russia, which causes the other country to retaliate with nuclear weapons, which causes extinction. Finally, uh, the salty, uh, this salty stuff. The overview to these arguments is that there is no uniqueness for any of their terms. ISIS is obviously have massive power in the region now, which means there's no risk of backlash because uh, they are already backlashing. Second, but there's giant bombing campaigns against ISIS now. If that's not backlash, then nothing will. The app is a reframing against the current bombing scenario, uh, against the current from the current bombing tactics uh, in, in favor of a more soft approach, which means it turns all of their backlash offense. Now, the level on the Carruthers evidence is in the context of uh, forcefully and aggressively pushing U.S. NGOs into the region. The chambers evidence in the assets that the U.S. will not fight Islam. It is rather uh, fighting a very radical interpretation. Of which means there would be no backlash. Additionally, the U.S. supports locally funded groups, which means it solves backlash because it's not imposing U.S. ideologies, it's somewhat only supporting regional ideologies that are nonviolent and pluralistic. The, uh, the, the two pieces of stankle evidence are not, uh, are, don't apply. Even obviously, the app is not a perfect form of democracy. It makes democracy more stable because it rejects ISIS and supports peaceful groups and pluralistic groups, which is a shift towards a more democratic form which is sufficient to solve the advantage. The uh, gold evidence is not uh, is answered by the app because the app increases leadership groups by supporting pluralistic, uh, pluralistic societies, the crews, and layer chairs. Finally, don't apply because the plan does not give money to uh, governments, it's not unconditional aid, but rather supports civil society engagement groups. Uh, the app, the, all their sovereignty evidence assumes a type of uh, to, assumes a type of uh, aid the plan is simply not about. Cap. Okay. Alright. Framework. The role of the badges of the act is the consequence of the app. Role of the key to rest upon the app is bound by top category reads the 1EC with no knowledge of 1EC strategy. Anything else makes the app vulnerable to an unlimited number of next actions. The 1EC has no defense against it. It's hard to perform. Also, feels discussion about the app, which is worse for, edu for, it's more, which is worse for education overall. Uh, fairness outweighs as a kind of constraints dialogical activities. Gallery and 70 pieces and argumentative table with parties. Voice of the GCF said by fairness and equity suffered automatic respect to be fair. This condition of equality voice cases and fairness is good. Next, one third one second when it comes to the table and able to participate in the dialogue. It's sort of like the dialogue we bought from the next response. The app's reversing new rules and the next substitute for the action. Also, to do not accrue the dialogue with benefits. Policy simulation the key to political action and cover some five control the government when emphasis and reads about uh, citizens bear the obligation to debate what the government should be doing. Absent that motivation for political activists has lost role playing for its liberty of the vocabulary and power in America. Since lack of faith and persuasion, like the waiting system, the simulation of the simulation of foreign power is used by the fantasy of the civil act of making more and more laughing stuff for those who with the language of power role playing teachers to be comfortable with power with the language of power and that gets away from political action. Their role of the battle arguments are non secular. Even uh, their uh, voting negatives does not change how it changes any capsule in the real world, which means you can't solve it. Uh, it. It doesn't increase social inclusion in debate. Also, uh, the no only arguments are sufficient to uh, just read the rule about now. The link argument first, ISIS. Uh, ISIS is different, increasing uh, 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 because the U.S. increased its response immediately after ISIS came into power to prove that it's not, it, it's not uh, designed to secure U.S. oil interests. Second, securing oil interests is not necessarily capitalist. Something that occurs in the status quo on a mass scale, which means their alternative can't solve. Finally, there's this huge differential between their links and their alternative solving terms. Even if we would draw from council, that doesn't, that doesn't change U.S. foreign policy, which means only the plan has a risk of solving anything. Permutation to both, permutation to the alternative, uh, to the app and the alternative, and the other instance. Solving extinction is a huge net benefit, and always every single other possible net benefit. As for the boss, I mean, yeah, now ISIS is real messed up and always uh, case like your 15. See this, uh, the, the Islamic state is devoted to taking the most accordion form of the fundamental and magical discourse of the ISIS role in the subject of policies of the RPC and the same concept where ISIS is a popular to jump on an unrated skill. It requires that we have found the truth about uh, our Islamic ethnic entities for approximate causes because it only addresses the specificity of the app scenarios, uh, such as the regional ideology. As a result of ISIS, which means capitalism at broad can't explain the way that ISIS has emerged. Uh, this is usually a daily evidence is a terrible piece of impact evidence. Obscuring violence does not mean that uh, capitalism is, does not quantify how much capitalism can kill. People, or why uh, it is bad. The status quo is improving, which means Council is good. Dresser 13. 2013 is the best year in human history. Data is not incontrovertible. All the key metrics in the child disease income are trending in the right direction. The last will be living in part of the largest discrimination. Uh, or where the aggregate data shows more peaceful war fighting than all can't solve because it doesn't show how uh, people reject Council or what system we would move towards, which means there's zero solvency. Okay. Thank you, Joey. <laughs> Okay. Well, is this the thing I gotta keep these? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Um, wait, did you, did you, um, finish arguing cards? Uh, I finished, yeah, I finished the card. I just did, I just read the tag of, uh, root cause, and I read the dress for evidence, and nothing happened. Actually, before I start, could, like, could you, okay, stop, and then, like, could you, yeah, fix? uh,
I do that like all the time. I think I can read a bunch and then I read about the template. Yeah, I want to see like the next skip like eight or nine cards. So you know, see that. Good. Oh, good. Well, I, that's also because I'm really sick. Can I phone a friend? Lawrence, help me. How do I respond to the status quo? getting better. No, it's not. <laughs> what? That's not. It's a masking argument. I don't know. The status quo is getting better. It's just using not to take problems with other things. I'm playing Minecraft. I don't like this. <laughs> Uh, I just said that you should prefer to ask specific explanations how they solve ISIS over like broad alt solves the case or broad like happens root cause of everything because it doesn't account for the specific social conditions that cause ISIS to come in place. Is that the, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> what does the doctor say? Uh, oh, that ISIS is really terrible uh, and saying that like, uh, saying that you know, we construct this threat to like, you know, uh, could we construct this threat to serve capitalist interests or something like that is just wrong. ISIS is objectively bad and we're doing it to destroy their ideology and kill them. Great. Wait, did I have one? Oh. Yeah, you're over. Crap. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Okay, I'll... I'm keeping the ult, but I'll go on cap. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Um, cap in the AC. Wait, no. Maybe. No. <laughs> Alright, I just AC. I just roll with it. Oh, why? Okay. Not ready. We're not a polyarchy, which is a group of leaders governing over it. Instead of just like instead of just a democracy, where like we get a few rights, it's, it's a group of leaders um, like, uh, like govern uh, govern over uh, governing like over local population. So uh, it's completely different, and he doesn't make it like specific uh, analysis on how like it, it's, a, it's the same thing. So like his uh, offense doesn't apply. Uh, uh, yeah, his offense doesn't apply. He doesn't answer that. So um, yeah, that that moves his offense. Next on uh, the linker evidence, he says that um, like uh, that we're, we we go we go in there just like mess up ISIS, but that's not true because um, uh, that, um there's still a spillover effect. Which means that we like go in there and, the, and we like construct democracy in like in like in, uh, through ISIS. Uh, we're gonna uh, still have a spillover effect where like infects the entire Middle East because that's just like an uh, uh, entrance way. Uh, because like it would just like uh, convert their minds to think that like, democracy is good, and that it would just be a spillover effect to the entire Middle East. So um so like uh, democracy still so, like democracy still applies. So that's how strange the link of um of cap because um. So yeah, he dropped it. He dropped it back to capitalism. So first, extend that. Um, like uh, Manner says that uh, Middle East is especially subjective. So that means that uh, the spillover effect is especially likely. And also, the like, daily Jerry Jack says that uh, we have an obligation to reject capitalism because uh, like degradation happens on a, on a daily basis on every um, like. So that means that uh, so <clears throat> so yeah, ha degradation happens on a daily basis. That's gonna happen uh, under the uh, under capitalist uh, mind like mindset that it will be enacted in the Middle East. So uh, and also uh, the genocide and, and root argument that takes out his uh, like his existential uh, threat argument. He says that um, he's only one. Accident, existential threat, but I'm also, dude, I'm also, I'm, I'm also accidenting it too because dude, the national threat. He says that he's saying that um, we're going to um, like, like, bro, we're gonna um, <laughs> um, like. 
people are, are sending more to your value, which means that oh, it'll be easier to modify them at, into war so that uh, there will be more things like resource wars where like developed countries like take a more uh, a real take resources so that developing countries won't have resources. Uh, it will cause conflict and also extend like, capitalism is the root cause of all, all arguments that's uh, uh, data and data checks. Uh, so the entire point, uh, the entire reason that there's conflict in the Middle East in the first place is because of capitalism. Like, it, it, like it's because like other capitalist uh, nations are reallocating resources so that there's low resources. That's why there's all these conflicts in the Middle East. So we have to solve capitalism first. So, um, so like he still figures the length, still figures the impact that I'm showing you that we need to solve capitalism first in order to, um, in order to actually have this because like if, if we don't solve capitalism, there will always be poverty. There will always be like uh, conflict in the Middle East because of like lack of resources. Um, so and next on his uh, scroll is improving. First, um, that's just masking the bad effects. Thank you, Lawrence. Um, it's masking bad effects because it, uh, it's just like saying that the scroll is improving, but um, it's not. It's still like it's just, that's just an argument to mask the uh, actual effects of capitalism because like sure like the scroll can just uh, improve like like variously, but um, there will still always be um, bad effects of capitalism. Also, um, there will be all causes like why the scroll is improving. Like there will be uh, more uh, there, uh, things like um, um, like like more developing countries are are uh, like just like <clears throat> more. Means, more developing countries be, like means that um, like sure yes, scroll can improve like in short term, but like um, there will always be a pressure on the capitalism, which means that it always comes first. So um, prefer like prefer solving capitalism, but also um, so yeah, extend the daily, uh, extend the um, interactive perspective. It says that we have existential risk, and there will always be existential risk under capitalism. So I'm um, so yeah, I'm yeah okay. Uh, next on the AC. So first um, okay. So first on uh. First thing, uh, so he says that it's not unique because ISIS is already having backlash, and also uh, we're looking for like a soft approach. But um, the, the fact is that uh, she he he dropped the argument about how we're uh, just, uh, like our our perspective of democracy motion is just one form, and we're trying to enact in the ISIS, which will have conflicting forms. So um, like there's like, so there's no way that we can solve because um, we, like we will always conflict with their culture, and also like his backlash argument, like uh, he he can, he must understand their backlash argument, I'm saying that um, like the, it's not that uh, they, they will have like opposite effects, but also uh, but that they like uh, um. Like that, like they will, um, like local, uh, um, like local areas will reject our idea of democracy in motion because it just doesn't, um, like it, it just conflicts with their culture, so they will always be able to reject it. So, uh, so yeah, that that's uh, that's a stunkle evidence. So extend that also, um, and huh, dude, this is hard. Okay, and then, <laughs> um. So then, uh, two goals about this. He says that it's increasing leadership, but uh, like, like that's not happening because um, uh, because uh, what Goldsmith says is that um, he, like. Yeah, just basically, they will never accept it because they have conflicting forms. And yeah, next is uh, next to the A A Seventeen Index. He says that I mean we're finding local, uh, we're finding civil civil societies, which means that it's not going to go to the government. But that doesn't matter because uh, the civil uh, civil society will always be able to use it. And they, and the, and the specific, uh, specifically, um, Cruz and uh, Leverich says that um uh, they will be taken uh, like the A will be taken of uh, control by like uh, by by like uh, war war leaders such as ISIS. They will be easily uh, like yeah, unconditional aid means that they will easily take control of the aid. So that will just expand more. So that magnifies also the impact because um, you know, just that that, that uh, our his plan is just to fund ISIS to uh, uh, allow them to expand uh, expand their like expand their power and just uh, and yeah magnify their impact. So you get, that turns his case. Um, so yeah, with that said, um, no wait, oh, yeah, sorry, kick the all and the roll the ballot. So when we're um so so when we're looking at we're looking when we're looking around. Okay, I'm I'm setting his role of value. We have to minimize his essential risk. I'm the only one doing that because first, um, he he drops the Romsen four. This is the most important thing because it says that it, we're enacting polyarchy, which means he doesn't get in, like access to any of his impact because it doesn't apply under democracy. Um, because like uh, yeah, and um, it's not set down on top. So um, it says a man. It says that it will spill over, which means the capitalist effects will like extend to the entire Middle East. Don't let them say that status quo is like worse. And also the Daily and Trade Act and um, the International Directive. It says that it will cause um, because like under capitalism, it, it, um, under capitalism extinction is always possible. So the, and and extend the truth. It says that and my song says that it says they'll never accept it. So we can't solve like the plan doesn't solve either. Uh, one
also keep the alt so it doesn't get too close. Yeah, it <laughs> sounds like fairies. <laughs> is uh, an overview that you should fill on the case, uh, then the solvency stuff, and then <clears throat> Everybody ready? Two important framing issues for the round. The first is the simulated consequence of the F argument, the rolled about argument made on the K. It proves that the question of debate is whether the plan is comparatively better than the status quo. Even if capitalism is more more of the F artists made that they no longer have an alternative because they kicked it in the last speech, which means that the critique is now a non-unique disad and they have no offense left in the debate. The second overview is that it is try or die for the affirmative. First, existential risk is the most important impact of the debate. The boss from evidence that has been conceded through all five speeches uh, all through all five speeches proves that because we are morally uncertain, we should preserve our ability to recognize value of the future by ensuring that there is a future man that is uh, alive that can recognize uh, that can recognize what the right morality is. As such, uh, the app outweighs. ISIS causes nuclear terror because they will obtain nuclear weapons and use it against uh, 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 again, use it against the U.S. to cause the U.S. to retaliate against Russia because it causes nuclear spoofing. Now, uh, the impact always first is unpredictable and cannot mitigate a response. Rationality can check things like war and environment, but nuclear terror is so fast, so rapid, and so unpredictable that there is the, the response is virtually guaranteed and independently causes extinction by itself because the attack itself can cause a massive climate change. That was a two in evidence in the app. Also dropped. The second is that uh, the time frame is much faster. Once a terrorist attack happens, the, the, the nuclear nightmare can happen overnight, which allows uh, time frames should be the primary thing for your impact calculus because it allows more people to experience life. Uh, and then, uh, on net, third is probability. ISIS's whole, whole goal is to destroy the world through nuclear terrorism, which means that it is much more likely than their cap impacts, which uh, are mitigated through the fact that the status quo is improving anyways. Now, the line by line on the, set, on the solvency stuff. None of their solving it. There are two fundamentally arguments that answer all their arguments. The arguments the first, uh, both of which were dropped. The first is that uh, that the U.S. is taking massive bombing campaigns against ISIS now, which means uh, which means that backlash is inevitable now. If bombing doesn't cause backlash, then neither will the plan. And if bombing does cause backlash, then the plan will be seen as a shift away from uh, current violent tactics, which means it actually decreases backlash, even if it is some uh, someone conflicting with your culture. The second is that the plan endorses regional ideas uh, rather than imposing U.S. ones. It does not uh, create U.S. ideas and then fund those groups. Uh, rather, it funds groups that are already existing and were locally made by youth in the Middle East itself, which means it does not conflict with their culture, it endorses uh, aspects of their culture that are not ISIS, which uh, also they don't have any any support for their claims, it corrodes evidence in the context of U.S. bombing campaigns and things that the U.S. has created by itself, which means it does not actually apply to the app. The aid argument was also explicitly answered in the 1AR when I said that uh, past examples proves that the aid is effective, it gets to the civil society groups, and they have no evidence for why the aid would actually be intercepted by ISIS other than this terrible piece of cruise evidence, which is uh, in the context of the unconditional aid to governments, not to uh, civil society groups, which means none of the arguments Supply. Cap. Look, and all these impact arguments are fundamentally non-responsive because they all assume that the app increases capitalism somehow, but capitalism exists in the status quo, so there's no risk of them solving. The plan and the status quo are equally capitalist because they did not go for the alternative in the last speech, and because it is a question of whether the plan or the alternative, whether the plan or the status quo is a better idea, as per the app's conceded rolled about arguments made in the 1AR, uh, this argument is totally non-unique and does not matter. Also, the status quo is improving now. The Dresden evidence says that uh, it says that things are trending upwards, which means they don't get a fun, they don't get a terminal impact. Things like poverty, uh, war, and environment are in, are are, uh, are get generally getting better, which is a piece of impact events for all of their arguments. Finally, none of the impact framing answers the no root cause argument in the app that uh, in general that only the specific conditions. Of of the app can be solved by the app, so you should disregard broad cap outweighs everything arguments. I walk by your room at like 2 in the morning and you're like, <laughs> 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 